Good morning, students. Hope you are safe and fine. My name is Ms. Rakshi Kabir and I am your computer teacher. Students, this is your online with smart computing book. Oh, today we will study chapter 3 of your book, Input and Output Devices. Here are the contents which we will study in this chapter. These are input devices. Output devices, processing device. Input devices are keyboard, mouse, joystick, trackboard, touchscreen, touchpad, microphone, scanner, barcode, reader, and light pen. Processing devices, CPU. Output devices are monitor, printer, speaker, while storage devices are hard disk, compact disk, and pen drive. We will study all these devices in detail. Before to start our chapter 3, you must know what is a computer and how does a computer work. Computer is an electronic machine which performs fast and correct calculations. Computer works on principle of input, process and output. Charles Ravis is the father of computer. He invented data and analog computers. Computers are very fast. Computers are very accurate and has very large memory. If you can give correct data into the computer, then it will give you accurate results. Computer can carry out different functions at the same time. Like we can listen music. At the same time, you can play games on computer. We will study input devices. These are used to enter data into the computer. Let us see an example of daily life. As in order to bake cake, you need egg, flour, milk to make a dough. These items are input. Then it is placed in an oven for processing. As a result, you get a bake cake, which is output. Similarly, the computer follows the basic rule of input process, output. It does the work by using some devices. Some input devices are keyboard, mouse, joystick, scanner, trackball, light pen, microphone. The devices, data used to enter data, instruction into a computer is called input devices. Keyboard is the most standard input device. It is similar to the typewriter. Keyboard has 104 keys. A keyboard is divided into following major parts as number keys, alphabetic keys, function keys and special keys. As you press a key on a keyboard, a character appears on monitor screen. Mouse is a pointing device used to select objects, text, and to draw pictures on computer. A user can move pointers rapidly on the screen with the help of mouse. Mouse controls the movement of the cursor position. There is variety of mouse available in market. Wheel mouse or laser mouse. Joystick is a pointing device. Joystick is mostly used by children to play a game. It consists of a handle which can be used to move the object left or right, up and down on the screen. It can also be attached with the television set. It uses USB or special ports supply with the sound card for connection. Trackball is a pointing device. Trackball works just like a mouse. Trackball contains only one ball instead of button, like left or right, etc. Trackball uses this ball to move cursor position one location to other. Trackball neither uses any such path or nor cover much space. Touchscreen allows the user to enter input by simply touching the display screen. It records the input. When a finger comes in contact with the screen, here your finger acts the pointing device. Touch screen are used in mobile phones and ATMs while touchpad. A touchpad is commonly used 
and laptop. Move the cursor on the screen by just moving the finger on the touch pad. All right. Now, microphone. Microphone is used to input and record voice into a computer. Scanner. Scanner is an input device. Scanner translates printed documents into an electronic format as stored in computer. There are two types of scanner. That is, flat bed and handheld scanner. Scanner makes your time and makes your task easy. Barcode reader. VCR barcode reader. It is normally used in shops, grocery stores, etc. This contains photoelectrical cells that read barcodes consisting of lines having different thickness. VCR helps shopkeepers to analyze the price of an item immediately. Light pen is a pointing device which is used for making drawings. Light pen rapidly moves on the screen just like an ordinary pen, but it works with electricity. Light pen does not need any alphabetic key. Processing device CPU. Central processing unit is the brain of computer. It has three subunits. CPU does calculation like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. In ALU, ALU stands for Automatic Logic Unit, Control Unit. CPU stands for Control Unit. Control Unit tells other parts of computer what they should do, and the third. Subunit is MU, memory unit. Me memory unit stores data or information either permanently or temporarily. Now we will study output devices. The output devices show the result of work done by a computer. Monitor is most commonly used output device. It looks like a television. It displays both text and pictures. Monitor is known as visual display unit. Nowadays, LCD monitor and plasma monitors are used. Devices are printer and speaker. Printer is an external hardware device. Printer provides information on paper that we introduce computer printout. It's called hard copy. Now, speakers, speakers are Output devices used to listen music and sound effects from computer. They may be connected with a cable with CP. Here we are some storage devices. Hard disk, compact disk, pen drive, hard disk. It stores all the data of computer system. Hard disk present inside the CPU box. Compact disk. It stores large amount of data it is portable device, easy to carry. It is also known as CD. Pen drive. It is a small portable device that stores a very large amount of data. It works very fast. Then other storage devices. A computer has a number of points into its port. We can plug in various devices. These are called ports. A pen drive has to be plugged into USB port of the computer. We learned today input devices, output devices, storage devices. Input devices are used to enter data into the computer. Some examples of input devices are keyboard, mouse, joystick, trackboard, etc. Output devices. Output devices are used to see the results. On, monitor, on the computer screen, monitor, speaker, and printer are examples of output devices. Storage devices. Data stored in external memory is not locked. When computer is turned off, hard disk, compact disk, and pen drive are examples of storage devices. Here we are closing the, this chapter, input, output, and storage devices. I will be back with a 
new chapter very soon. Till then, complete the previous chapter exercise. On page 15, 16 and 17, PDF is attached to it.